what's going on guys so we're uh you know, we're here in my garage picked up this this old uh kick wheel i think it's a brent picked it up for like 250 dollars right so these things run for uh anywhere from like 1500 to like two thousand dollars new it's uh has the electric motor and stuff like that on it so Kind of give you a background here. I've been doing ceramics for, I don't know, probably seven, eight years. Started out in college. You know, took a lot of fine arts classes. Always been creative minded. So uh, got really into ceramics and sculpture and all that kind of good stuff. So I'm in kind of a position now to where I can actually, you know, get a small little I guess, ceramic studio going. So I'm in the process now of getting things together. I've got my uh, little desk here with like a sl slab roller and all that kind of good stuff. Um, got to get it all organized, but so that's where we are right now. With this uh, wheel, right? Um, the uh, this fiberboard, right? So this thing was out in the weather. You know, it's been in like humid climate. Uh, Got it from a guy in Mississippi, right? And I'm in Florida, so I mean, it's not much better here, but as you can see, it kind of got soaked with water. You know, it's falling apart. So the plan is, is that I'm gonna remove this stuff here first. The seat is in the same condition. Um, and then, you know, we got the little tub here with a crack in the side. So we're gonna epoxy that properly and then uh, and we're gonna go from there, but you know, other than that, I'm just gonna take off some of this rust. Um, it's really not that bad. Uh, it's not gonna affect anything, you know, in terms of the the functionality of this. But I'm gonna, you know, grease the bearings, all that kind of stuff. Um, but other than that, man, I mean, this thing functions. It works. Like I could honestly, without doing any kind of restoration on it, you know, it's got a little bit of squeak, but. You could throw some pots on this thing. So, so yeah, without further ado, I guess we're going to get started on this bad boy and, uh, you know, see what we can, see what we can come up with, see if we can fix it and get it, uh, get it back to its glory days. All right. So I think first things first, what we're going to do is, uh, I got some of this, you know, penetrating catalyst stuff. I'm going to spray down all the bolts that I know that I'm going to have to remove because, uh, you know, they're, they're a little bit rusted on. I don't want to risk breaking a bolt or, you know, anything like that. Um, if I do, and if something's stuck, whatever, I can always buy more. Um, but, you know, I just kind of want to keep everything original as much as possible here. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to get underneath this thing. Uh, we've got a couple of nuts down here. So that was a that was a bit of a chore getting that thing off. Um, so to get this whole thing off, I had to take the freaking wheel head off, and um, that was quite a task. A lot of the bolts are stuck. The uh, head itself was stuck. Looks like somebody removed it before, whoever had it before, but they left the grub screw on, and it just completely like scored the shaft here so anyways um got that off so i'm gonna go ahead and take the seat off now seat seems pretty pretty easy it's got these little um little hand screws pretty simple this other one Right. 
So that then should should wedge right off. Uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and grab some wire brushes and just uh, go to town on this thing. Try to get some of the rust off and then I think what I'm gonna do is uh, get some of that um, navel jelly for any of the rust that's left over because I'm not gonna be able to get all of it off. Yeah, we'll kind of spray it down with that, and that should give us a nice uh, prime surface to, to paint. of the rust off. So, um, next thing is going to be getting some navel jelly and spraying this guy down. Navel jelly just converts the rust to like, basically like a primable surface through some weird science. So, so that's the next step. Um, I'll probably save that for later and do the navel jelly and then I've got these, uh, a 10 by 2 boards that I'm going to make the actual, you know, the piece that separates here. And then I'm going to, you know, wood glue another one to here that attaches the whole thing together. Yeah, so I'm, I'm super excited. I, uh, you know, greased the bearings already. It's not squeaking. So that's pretty, pretty good. Haven't tested the motor yet, but I'll wait to do that. But either way, even if the motor doesn't work, kick wheel works, so... That's all I'm really concerned about, but the motor would be a nice thing to have, you know, just for centering and stuff like that, so. So yeah, that's pretty exciting. Thanks for following along here so far in the process. Like I said, I'm pretty stoked on this thing. I'll be posting another video here pretty soon. I'll be painting it and making the working platform, making the seat. And then uh, hopefully after that, we'll be, uh, we'll be going. We'll be making some, um, some pots. <laughs>